How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. So in this video I'm going to be checking the calibration of a new torque wrench that I just purchased. This is a budget range torque wrench so it's a laser, it's a 3 8 drive and it goes from 20 newton meters to 110. All right, so let's get into it. This is the torque wrench. Comes with a little manual and it should come with a pre-calibration certificate. Yeah, so there you go. It already has been tested and checked and uh, Let's see if that's accurate. The things that you need to do this are very simple. You'll need some tape. You'll need a luggage scale, which I picked up on eBay for like five bucks. Tape and a marker. And for this instance, a weight. So the first check I'm gonna do is to make sure that this electronic scale is accurate. I'm gonna power it on. Gonna set it to kilos, which it already is. You press this unit here. You can set it to pounds, ounces, and I would be leaving it on kilos. I then will be using this barbell weight. It is a one and a quarter kilo one, as you can see there. And I'm just gonna simply, there's a cable tie on it. Just gonna simply hang that from there. Just light that up for you, and as you can see there, it's 1.24, which is very, very close to the actual weight. Okay, so I've got my 3 8 adapter, which I have now locked in position in the vise. Anything stationary is good enough for this, as long as you can get your uh, 3 8 into it in a lockable position and be able to turn the handle from there. So, because of the range of this one, I'm going to be setting it at around 29.5 on the foot uh, pound scale at the back. That's a mid-range for this particular one. And the next thing I'm going to do is measure from the top of the handle down 12 inches to here and then making a mark on that. So I'll be able to pull exactly from that point. Okay, so we're just going to get a bit of tape run it across our handle like that get our tape measure run it from the center and then go to one foot mark that and that means we have the pulling point for our scale so we will be pulling at 90 degrees exactly from there so we have it wrapped there, it is on pounds and then we just get a good indication that we're pulling exactly the way we want to be, which we are. And now let's see what reading we get. I'm going to pull reasonably gentle to get a steady reading. Wow, 36. Okay, I'm gonna pull a bit faster and see. Thirty-six again. Okay, we'll do it one more time and then we'll have to start adjusting. Okay, so even though this came with a calibration certificate, uh, that test has shown that it is way out. That should be 29.5 and it's reading 36 range, which is way, way over what we would be expecting um, 
and it is something I feared when I bought this item even with a calibration certificate that we might get that that's why I wanted to check it beforehand so what we're going to do is we're going to go adjusting um, the spring setting in this now so this particular point here let me just adjust this so I'm going to be backing off this I'm going to be releasing the spring tension out the ways because there is too much before it clicks so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now really quickly and then see if I can set this up accurately for you okay so we're going to go ahead and adjust this now so what you will need to do is back this off to its lowest setting so loosen that off so I'll be going down to the 20 newton meter side then we're going to be backing this off as well And this part here is where we get the spring tension on it so the fact that it was too much we're just going to back this off I don't know, a couple of turns I suppose or something like that I'm gonna try there put that back in now it could take a bit of going back and over to get this right uh, I have no idea if that is accurate or not yet. Okay, so I have it all adjusted. And I'm going to go ahead and check it now. There you go, 30. I think it was there. I'll try again. We're going to do three of each like we done on the first test. All right, and another bit. So there you go, that is set at 30. So that is very close to accurate, much closer than it was previously. And I am very happy that that is now adjusted within the calibration range that I would want. If you have a bigger torque wrench than what I am using here, you will have to do a, a few calculations on it. I'm going to link in the description the video uh, I found on how to do this. And in that video, he demonstrates a larger torque wrench and also the conversion table uh, he has done up. So it's, it's very easy um, and very accurate. And uh, I'll have that in the description should you have a different length torque wrench to this. Um, I went ahead and done this one at 12 inches because that means there's no calculations based off that. So that is it guys, a really quick and simple and cheap way to calibrate your torque wrench or to check to see if your torque wrench is calibrated correctly. Uh, I wanted to get this done because I hadn't checked my own torque wrench for a long time i have a couple of them so i wanted to make sure that they were accurate getting them recalibrated somewhere can be quite expensive and sometimes you have to send them off to get them done so the fact that you can do it in-house yourself for next to nothing um is a fantastic solution to that there is a couple of ways you can do this there's another way by locking this in position holding a um, different weights on this side, adding weight, adding weight, adding weight until it clicks. Um, but that is a much slower process than this one. So once I stumble across that bit of information on the luggage scale, I thought it was very good and I thought it was uh, perfect for what I needed to calibrate the torque wrenches. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.